Hi everybody and good morning to a wonderful sunny start here in Ireland. It's a lot cooler today and I'm glad. It's been an extraordinarily hot week but we're going to heat it up even more in an enjoyable way with the wonderful vocal sound of Fatima Campo from Mexico. She's one of these extraordinary YouTubers that has put pop music out there and become instantly, which everybody wants but she has managed to do get an instant reaction of popularity and people following her so much so that she has grown to attaining over 30 million views on youtube alone thousands of subscribers over half a million i think at this stage over 500,000 anyway and also she's attained a lot of popularity on instagram she's a very down-to-earth young lady she's grown up with music her brother diego is a musician as well and she appeared on a talent show in Mexico. She mightn't have won it, but it gave her the taste for moving forward and choosing music and singing as a career. And I am glad she has, that she did take up music because she's proved to be so, so popular. The great thing about Fatima is she's just beginning, but her star sign is Aries. And one of the things about being an Aries star sign is that you are determined you act on impulse you love social gatherings you love being in front of people so the talent show gave her that skill to sing and perform and she's appeared on many national um mexican programs and tv appearances and she's just gained and gained popularity all the time where a lot of people fail on social media is not having that determination to succeed they just want somebody to hand it to them they're not willing to work well this young lady is and i am looking forward to this song it's called prestami a mi padre in spanish and it means lend me my father there's not so many lyrics to this so i'll get through it very quickly i also don't talk during the videos and if you're from mexico Please like, subscribe, and tell me which your favorite song of Fatima is and why you like her if you follow her. I'd be interested to get more information. There's very, very little information here. But what caught the attention of everybody when she was doing, when she hit social media, was actually a cover song. I'm just going to get the name of it. And it was her cover song that made everybody go, wow, this girl can really sing. And it's Juan Gabriel's Amor Eternal. And on a, only a few days release, it gained over 100,000 views. It's since oof, gained so much more. So she is confident, young, ambitious, and I am so glad I came across her. I have listened to one previous track of Fatima to get to know her vocally, and I can tell you, we're in for a wonderful treat. Take a listen, it's short and sweet. I'll keep the video short. Of your introduction, I shall feature her throughout 2022 of Fatima Campo. Take it away. Sé que no estoy en condiciones de exigir y que tengo cosas por corregir. Sé que no he sido la mejor persona. Préstame a mi padre, dame unos minutos para recordar que se sienta abrazarlo O como decirle que hay en nuestra casa todos lo extrañamos Hace falta su risa y hasta sus regaños Préstame a mi padre, daría lo que fuera por oír de nuevo sus historias porque me dijera cómo estás mi niña y contarle mil cosas de sentir de nuevo sus manos rasposas préstame a mi padre por favor Diosito no lo regreso tarde Que 
se siente abrazarlo O cómo decirle que hay en nuestra casa todos lo extrañamos Hace falta su risa y hasta sus regaños Préstame a mi padre, daría lo que fuera por oír de nuevo todas sus historias Porque me dijera cómo estás mi niña y contarle mil cosas De sentir de nuevo sus manos rasposas Préstame a mi padre, por favor Diosito Regreso tarde Isn't that an incredible video? A wonderful introduction to her vocals. There she is with red hair. She looks totally different. <clears throat> the maturity and beauty of this young lady is the fact that she handles everything with emotion and passion and you can see that in her singing i felt it was a great opener for everybody to go wow to mexican music because young people taking on a much more mature song would have to have that maturity within them and she has it she has it in bucket loads she's just going to explode even more around the world and people are just going to fall in love with her and i hope all my worldwide subscribers are hitting the button now wanting to know what she's singing and what she's singing is what i'm going to tell you now in the lyrics and the lyrics are as follows it opens up with i know i'm not in a position to demand and that i have things to correct i know i have been i haven't been the best person and i'm not the one to ask and then it continues only this time please god make an exception so it's almost like a lyrical song of, of forgiveness to her father saying I love you I didn't always say I loved you I just want you to know that everything you've done for me I have appreciated not at the time but I appreciate what you what you've done now I've grown up I'm not the little spoiled child anymore I'm the person who loves you for you it continues, lend me my father, give me a few minutes to remember what it feels like to hold him. I need to tell him that there in our house we all miss him. So straight away her father has died. And now I'm thinking this is more about a song about remembering, lend me my father. In other words, give me your ear so I can tell you how much I loved you. I, I didn't tell you when you were alive but I miss you and I want to tell you now. And the lyrics are giving anybody who sings these lyrics a chance to, to say to the world and to the father who has died how much they loved him. So I, I need to tell him it continues that there in our house we all miss him. His laugh is needed and even his scolding. <laughs> Lend me my father. I'm laughing because my father used to laugh a lot Plus, he used to tell, tell us, don't do this and be very... So lend me my father, I give anything to hear your stories again. Because he told me, how are you, my child? And tell him a thousand things. I feel your... Because when that question is asked, how are you, when you're a child, you're... everybody always says, I'm okay. And usually children are not, but they don't know how to express themselves. So it's a, it's a wonderful song of reflection of, oh, I wish I had the maturity to have told you how I felt and talk to you more. And But when you're a child, we always answer, I'm okay, always. And it continues, and feel your scratchy hands again. Lend me my father, please God, I won't be late. And then it continues again into the next verse. Lend, lend me my father. <clears throat> Give me a few minutes to remember what it feels like to hold him. So it's always telling God, I just wish I could just get the energy and just, just hold him and just... My father was never one of those huggy people, but he was a great storyteller. 
And when you conversed with him, he spoke slowly and clearly and effortlessly and everything you understood. As a child, you were, oh, and as an adult, you were, wow. You never, when my father spoke, you never interrupted, you just listened. And he was a wonderful storyteller. So he said, it continues, his laugh is needed and even his scolding. Let me, my father, I give anything to hear the stories again. Me too. Because he told me, how are you, my child? And tell him a thousand things. And feel your scratchy hands. Just let me, yeah, and feel your scratchy hands. Because he told me, how are you? And a thousand times I said, let me, my father, please God, I won't be late. So this is almost, and that is the end of the lyrics. So this is almost a prayer, or a prayer in lyrical form of regret, of the need to communicate, just regret really, appreciation, but regret hurt, sadness, loneliness, it's everything. Accepting that the father is gone but missing everything about him. Most fathers in most households are always quiet, are always the fathers that go to work, come home, kiss your mother, sit down, eat something and then go away and sit on their own and everybody talks around the mother, around the mother, around the mother. And that quality time with children is never really given to the father. But it's only when they die do you miss them. I think that the one thing I miss about my own father is the storytelling. It's the wonderful things he did in his life. My father got cancer. And I only really got to know my father when my mother died. She was the focal point of the house. And then when she died, we started to speak more to my father. And the, the stories of interest, where he worked, what he did when he was young, how he managed to save money for this, for that, what he had to do in his life only came to flourishing because my mother wasn't there. She died before my father. And I realized I don't know my father because all these stories were new to me I never heard them before because as a child, as it says here in the lyrics, how are you? You would always respond to your father, I'm okay. But when your mother asked, you would be ba 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 ba. It's in a lot of cases, this is how it is. It's a beautiful song. I enjoy going through it. It's a homage to, to people who regret not having developed a more communicative personal relationship with their father and that's because as i've said most people have a mother and put all the attention on the mother it's just how life is so if you're one of those people regretting don't regret remain positive and happy and send the love and you'll get it back Thank you for listening. Wonderful introduction to Fatima. Absolutely amazing singer. Fatima, I shall bring you on my channel throughout 2022. Gracias por todo, México, por, por, por escucharme. And gracias, Fatima Campo, prestami a mi padre. Adios.